Texas, yeah. the Republican Party of Texas. Uh, they just opened the door um, into the convention hall. Uh, the festivities are now underway. Uh, Brandon Walton's a lot's going to be going on at his scorecard, and you've got your team out going to be covering all of it. You've got office holders that have their booths here. You can see a little bit behind us. Uh, and this is a really exciting opportunity, not just because, you know, it only happens every two years that uh, the party has its convention, but in that in many ways, it's been four years, right? Because two years ago, there was a virtual convention. A lot of people felt like they sort of missed out on this opportunity. And so a lot of people here are very excited about the prospect of getting to meet with their fellow citizens and get to network uh, and get to work this throughout the day the next several days coming on talking with some of the policymakers uh, some of the opinion shapers visiting with folks uh, uh, who are involved in the crafting of the party platform who are about the business of ensuring that Republican values and conservative principles are pushed in the Lone Star so we'll be talking to those folks we're going to talk to Brandon here in just a second about uh, some of the way that works if you're you know at the convention uh, but as noted we've got a lot of friends who are here uh, for yeah. example, um, we've got our friends. Uh, order there, okay. So Brian Slayton, uh, state representative from East Texas, is uh, selling some uh, cool T-shirts um, over at his booth. Uh, one, get your uh, get your jackass out of my chair. A uh, <laughs> uh, note about having Democrat uh, chairman in the Texas legislature. I think yeah. we'll talk to him about that one day this week. Um, he has another shirt. Uh, just say no to Democrat chairman. So you can pick one of those up. And a friend <laughs> who runs the Texan, uh, she grabbed it from me and started hitting me with it. And so I, yeah. I, I feel I, I feel really good about having this accent. So that's, that's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, as you look at a number of these, right, specifically you're looking at Axe the Tax, right? You're looking at the shirts from Representative Slayton that are saying, you know, get rid of Democrat committee chairman, right? Uh, it makes for some fun stuff to pass out here, but it also ties into the actual business. Message. These are the eight or so items that Republicans in Texas will be coming into the next legislative session. And we're saying, essentially, the party saying, this is what we expect lawmakers to accomplish in Austin. Um, not the least of which are two of those things, abolishing property taxes and getting rid of Democrat committee chairman. Now, uh, it's important to note on both of those issues as well. These are things that legislative priorities of the party. And then next year, whether or not lawmakers will actually go and accomplish what they were sent there to do. And so for the past couple of days, you know, we just said it, you know, we kind of talked about kind of the, the, the normal parlance that the convention just started. But in fact, the Republican Party of Texas's biennial convention started a couple of days ago with the work of, um, of, the, of the temporary committees starting the init kind of Essentially, you've got a temporary committee that's put together 15 legislative priority proposals. Uh, that list could change in the coming days as, as those committees go through their work. Uh, but then ultimately, delegates at large, right, the thousands of delegates that have come down here to Houston in person at this convention. And a number of these, right, are things that have carried over legislative priorities that are unfinished business from last time, okay? Think things like uh, uh, like abolition of abortion, school choice, a number of these. Uh, but at the same time, you've got some ones that are completely new, right? Um, uh, medical freedom, right? Uh, uh, abolishing vaccine mandates. Um, the Democrat committee. Um, the, uh, the Republican Party is governed by the uh, uh, Senate Republican Executive Committee uh, that uh, kind of that aligns with the state Senate districts. Those elections will be happening over the next couple of days, as well as the selection of the party chairman and vice chairman. Uh, yes. So, you know, so not only we're talking about the uh, you know, kind of the, the, the big issues national.
to the, uh, to the Republican Convention today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and you stop by the Texas Scorecard booth, uh, you can sign up to win um, either a SIG, a SIG Sauer P365 SAS, that's my concealed carry weapon of choice, um, or a Mossberg uh, pump action shotgun. So uh, we've got a, a drawing going for that. Uh, a lot of nice folks lined up out here to be able to spin the wheel to find out how many tickets they get, all sorts of fun mm -hmm. stuff like that hear what the party believes. We always hear what the elected officials believe. Well, Texas Scorecard, we want to know what the citizens believe, what citizens want to see happen. And so you'll have an opportunity to sound off there. You'll be seeing some of those clips going up on social media, but more importantly, uh, those uh, those comments, uh, those interviews are going to be sort of the basis for a lot of the coverage, Brandon, that you and your team do um, here, not only at the and so I, that's a reason that I know uh, the whole team at Texas Scorecard uh, is, is excited to, to, to be here, has been, has been looking forward to it. And I know that uh, it's the reason that a lot of the delegates have been excited for quite a while as well. All right. So, Brandon, uh, for, for folks who are uh, going to be paying attention, uh, yep. you've got the, uh, the, the work beginning um, on the main convention floor tomorrow at 10 a.m. Things yes. really kind of start to kick off. And uh, Texas Scorecard will be covering a whole lot of it. Yes, absolutely. The real work, uh, the, the big work is uh, the and for the folks who aren't here, the folks who didn't make it out uh, to the Republican Party of Texas Convention. We're going to be keeping you updated on the things that uh, uh, you need to know why the stuff that's happening here is important. So we encourage you to uh, continue to check that out. All right. So thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Uh, we'll be uh, checking with you soon. Have a fantastic